Empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. We got a little drunk. Yeah. Now I'm a little numb. Hey, isolate like an island. Ruga is fast becoming one of my favorite Nigerian artists. Like his songs are so different. I love his music. Hey y'all. Um I just left the house. I am headed to Frog Avenue. Stop by the car wash. Just finished washing my car. I'm at car wash doing this intro. I'm at um I'm going to Frog Avenue rather because I am going to work with them again. I think I worked with them in 2019. Yeah, that was the last time I worked with them. So they reached out again and said they wanted to work with me. So I'm at their store now to take measurements for a new in that they are going to be making i think i'm one of the first people to debut it so they need my measurements and i think to show me the fabric for another one i don't really have a lot of time because i need to go and upload my video at most 30 minutes i should be out of there i ain't trying to bother you're moving me in all the right away for the signal I wanna go down a vast range of Ankara dresses, skirts in very nice prints actually print is so cute look at this one really really nice oh, see this rich auntie kimono set <laughs> looks really nice Frog Avenue. Hello, good afternoon. I have more here. This is nice. And watch it fall down. Down. You give me the green light. Speeding like there ain't no stop sign. My eyes set on the yeah. I wanna go down. I wanna go down. But damn, it feels good when you jump on it. Scars on my chest like you own it. You can have my last name if you want it. If you want it. If you want it. Dear girl, we don't even have to stop. Well done. This is Uza. Hi. She's head of social media, right? <laughs> And she also owns an Instagram page called Jasmine Props. You guys, if you want props, you're a business owner, small business, big business, you must see something from her. And she's very, her feed is amazing, it's popping. I've been telling her now that she needs to come and give me tutorials. <laughs> so I'm leaving now, I'm taking my measurements. Now, so where will I get it? Um, you get it in. Um, Oh, okay. That works. Okay, wow. no problem. Thank you. All right. Righty. Bye. Bye. So this is about two weeks later. Two to three weeks later, and my this part, my Croc Avenue food is just arrived. Um, yeah, the little guy just left. I just want to show you all. Then I will wear it and show you the fit. Okay. So I have two things here. I think this is. A dress. Oh, mm. Yeah, it's actually a dress. I've seen this on their website before. That's what it looks like. This looks beautiful. I'll try it on and show you guys. And it has like a tie back um, effect to it. It's so pretty. And um, it's also a pep hem. No, not pep hem. High low bottom so the front is higher and the back is lower you guys will see it when i try it on and then the second item is a cohort set yes so we are going to um, send a cohort set this is part of their new one i love the design on the fabric it's so pretty so it's this silk and chiffon mix that 
is trending i love this one so much it's a pants straight pants not palazzo and um the top oh there's this kind of it's a bit different so they did mix and match with the chiffon and silk on the sleeves and some other parts are chiffon so let me just try it on and show you what it looks like thank you so much for coming you all should go check them out i'll leave their handle boldly written on the screen i've talked about them a couple of times here i've even worn their pieces i've even done a haul with their pieces in it so i stand for cutting you you already know if you're returning though <laughs> let me try it on and show you guys what it look like like i predicted the dress is big it needs to be altered the sleeves the waist this area too I need to just take it in a bit but I like how it looks I love the fact that it has pockets and uh, yeah it just needs some amendment and I'll be good and I just hold it in like this and take off some excess from this area I love the back I'm sure you guys can see when I'm when my tailor is done working on it, I'm trying to make more sense. But besides, I love the print, I love the quality, I love the style actually. Yeah, let me show you the second one. This needs some amendments. It's big. I'll just take out like one and a half inch on both sides. I love the pants. I love that it's not palazzo because I have a lot of palazzo ready to wear. I just love that this is normal. And um, is it is it straight leg? I think I'll call this a straight leg. I love the length, even though this still has some room. I don't want to believe I've lost weight, even though I know I've lost weight because I've I've been trying my best for yeah. This one has some room. I love that it has pockets as well. I love the print, color of the print, and um, yeah, this is it. I will do a reel, like I said, for Instagram. I style it very well after it's been altered. That is, but yeah, this is it. I can see myself wearing this to church, hang out with friends. That's it with this mini haul. There's no light. Let me go and turn off the inverter so we can use it later in the night. See ya. Hi, guys. Good morning. I woke up really early today. Today is an early day for me because i need to film two videos i need to go for stations of the cross at 12. i have a live video scheduled for 6 p.m so i busted exercise today i woke up around past five no past to six actually had my bath did my makeup and i am ready to film now the life of a content creator i don't like having to rush anything so i like to start early so i can take my time and be the best best version of myself because most times i have anxiety and i'm not able to do what i plan well because i'm already fidgeting i should wear this earring how are you doing I'm saying I've gone for exercise. I'm doing one here. Yeah, this is okay. Let me check if I have an option. I want something that will show from my bob. So maybe I should just wear gold. I'm about to film two videos. Not showing. Sure I think I'll wear that orange one because the color will make it more. It's more vibrant and it will show you the way. Yeah. Yeah, I love the vibes or the look brown colors give me. It looks so good on me. A brown skin girl rocking brown. See my eyeshadow? Brown. These days, eh, I fix lashes like there's no tomorrow. I've always known how to fix lashes, but I've always had issues with lash grease because there's something that is included in most of them some ingredient that doesn't work with my eyes so i start watering before you know i've removed it but since i started using this classic super hold lash glue this one it's not sponsored so if a member of classic makeup gets to watch this i'm putting my people on so please it should be sponsored at this point but yeah ever since i started using this classic glue it's been 
amazing it just sticks it adheres it's waterproof it's tear proof like nothing shakes it it's so amazing and to think that it's just 1000 naira I, I can't be mad at it i have <laughs> If you see my makeup, this thing, I have different types of lash glue from MAC to different Nigerian brands, like in full packs. I just use them once and it doesn't work. I start tearing up. But since I started using this one, it's just been bliss for me. So, yeah, if you've been struggling with lash glues, then try out classic makeup. Also, share this on your stories, okay? So that classic, that classic makeup, they should come and sponsor your girl. <laughs> you higher than a real rocket You can have my last name if you want it If you want it If you want it Yeah Your body's out in motion Like a Mona Lisa come to life Pin you on my wall and Pull you back down Watch you slide Let me drink you in. Oh, oh. I'm done filming. I filmed two videos and one reel. So that's why I'm wearing my house coat. I filmed what I ordered versus what I got. Like a mini haul for pretty little thing. I got these things a while ago, but I haven't even used them. So I decided I, I can just do a haul with them. I'll tell bring it here on YouTube, but the number of clothes are quite small. They're just two, so <laughs> there's really no need doing a whole year on YouTube. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I keep saying it. I keep reiterating. Follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on all the other parts of Chantel. Because on Instagram, I'm more of a fashion person. Those are the type of content I like to put on there. But yeah, follow me. Thank you. I want to get ready now for church. I'm ready, ready. Wow, 11.15. Church is by 12, so I'm just where I already have what I want to put on. I'll show you guys soon. Let me just put it on and pack my hair. I'm done. I have on this shirt dress. I've had this dress for a while. And my bag is this blue Kate Spade bag. On my feet, I have on this white nails. Let me come over here. I got this from AliExpress. And ever since, I've been looking for the link to get more colors because it's so comfy. But it has expired. It's like the store owner is not selling again. But yeah, this is what I'm looking like. Pretty simple. Maybe when I get to church, I'll just cross over the back. Oh. Yeah, this is me. I just pack my hair in a low ponytail and I'm good to go. I will vlog with my phone in church just a bit, not like anything extra. Just to show you all that I was in church because my camera battery is low and I won't be going out with it. Peace, people. See ya. <laughs> That we are still have an opportunity because this God will not spawn a humble and a contrite heart. So we pray this from our sins as we join with the Lord on this continue. So, just like yesterday, that Moses gave the people of Israel the opportunity to use their free will. Again, you still have another opportunity to use your free will. He says, seek. So, I came to food garden to get chicken. I want to make chicken stew. Everything is not expensive. The last time I came to buy chicken wasn't this price. Now it's four five. You say four five. You say four five thousand five last. I've been pricing since from three five. I entered three seven, three eight, four thousand. No good. So finally four five. And it's big actually. Hey, cut that. I'm ready for my life I have five minutes more to just play around with I've been sitting in front of my camera since 5.50 that's one hour 
10 minutes ago rather then i decided to just vlog a bit the app i use oh too bright yeah this is the app i use it's called Streamyard. you can see me there and my name is on the screen i really love this app because i can invite someone else to chat i don't know if youtube offers that yet i haven't tried it i'll talk to you all later after the live video i don't know if i'm going to leave it on for catch up i don't know i'll make up my mind on that but if i don't then you won't be able to watch it that if you're not um on the live but if i do then you can catch up all right if i do i'll leave it in the cards that's it see ya <laughs> hey y'all good morning oh my goodness ouch i just came in from exercise i haven't even chatted with you in two days i believe the last i held my camera was when i went to church and then went to the market to get things so i made uh, can you see me you can't see me obviously i'm gonna bring my camera down so i made chicken stew was it yesterday i'll be on sat on saturday actually I made chicken stew this is the worst angle ever <laughs> okay i'm gonna put it on my table uh, i made chicken stew but yeah I was so busy I couldn't even film it. At the same time I was making the chicken stew, I was doing laundry, I was cleaning the house, I was washing out the bathrooms, like deep cleaning. So there was really no way I could have vlogged. But yeah, um before I end this vlog, I wanted to clarify something. I'm glad a subscriber brought it up during my last live, which by the way was the best life ever. I got so emotional and I'm like, who is this? I'm actually an emotional person, but in public, see, uh, I'm a G. I'm a G that is emotional. G's don't cry, but yeah, that day during the live, it got so emotional. Queen Mansa was just saying a lot of things, and it was just, I've heard it a couple of times, right? But it's, it seems new every time I hear it. So yeah, a subscriber brought it up during my last live, Stephanie, to be precise. And thank you, Stephanie, for bringing it up, because right now, I got to think about it more in depth, and I see where the misunderstanding stems from so what i want to clarify is what i always say not always though but i've brought it up on this channel about three times that your parents don't owe you anything when i say that at least the three times i've brought it up it always is coming from the context of finances when you are independent finances when you are independent not when you're still dependent on your parents why am i looking dark whatever but you guys get my drift not when you're still dependent on your parents that's what i meant by your parents don't owe you anything i realized while thinking of it that maybe you might she might have seen it alongside other people from the context of maybe your parents don't owe you anything entirely in this world no that was not what i was saying i meant finances especially when you're independent so people that have this entitlement mentality that okay because you're my parents i, I have to suck you dry anytime i want like anytime i have a need i come to you and you must <clears throat> provide um the funds for me for me i don't see life like that i see it in such a way that i am an independent person now the reverse should be the case i should be the one to take care of my parents because they've taken care of me for 30 plus years right so that's where i was coming from i wanted to clarify it. i take ownership for any misunderstanding this might have caused but this is just me coming here to clarify it okay i'm sorry if you misunderstood it anyway but obviously that's not where i was coming from i just meant your parents don't owe you anything in terms of finances when you're independent when you have a job when you have something that is giving you money monthly you don't need to go back to them because most of our parents at least these millennials they are um retired they're just living off the money they made years ago like their retirement plan and everything so i don't just feel like it's fair on our part especially when you can afford that thing or when you can walk towards it to still go to them and when they don't give you you make it to become a big deal right so yeah i hope you all understand let me go and shower i'm sweating so bad my jacket is soaked you guys already saw it, but AC has been blowing me, so it has right. Let me just arrange my room now and go and shower. I'm going to end this vlog now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching.
I will see you. Looking at my camera. I'll see you. I don't really know anymore how to feel something again. Think I'm just scared of falling. Don't wanna go falling. I don't really know anymore how to be more than your friend. Think I'm just scared of falling.